Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. So today I'm going to make something I have made before, but one of the last times I made it, um, someone made a comment well after the fact of me making it and said that they actually add um, the enchilada sauce and the brown gravy together. And I'm thinking, wow, you know, so I've been thinking about this all this time. I'm like, when can I have this? When can I have this? So Tonight's the night. It's not Taco Tuesday or anything, but hey, whatever. It's all that matters. So anybody that knows that's been following me, I always pre-freeze, pre-cook and freeze my hamburger. I bring it down here and go ahead and turn on the burners here. Get this meat going. It still is just a little bit frozen, but I'll be breaking this up. And then um, my mom, when she always made it, she always put a little bit of um, refried beans in here. So what I'm just going to be doing is I'm going to take some of my pinto beans that I canned, that I just got all over the counter or the stove, and I'm going to go ahead and pour those in there too because not only does it give it a good flavor, it also helps stretch the meal out a little bit. Um, at least that's what I think. So... I'm going to go ahead and smash this down and get this meat browned. I am so glad I keep my stove clean. Jeez, old Pete's. Anywho, jeez, man. Some days, you know, you think you got it all put together and you don't have anything put together at all. So, I mean, go ahead and I have this on. And because I want to warm this all up together, I'm going to go ahead and add the enchilada sauce to the mix. Because that's also one thing my mom did was um, made it with the enchilada sauce. And that's going to help actually, you know, thaw out the rest of that hamburger. And we'll get this all mixed up. And I'll keep getting this broke down. Meanwhile, I'll be making my own... Um, I'm going to be making one cup of homemade brown gravy, and I'm going to add the enchilada sauce to that, too, and that's actually a mild. So I'm going to go ahead and start the stove, and I have my boiling hot water from the sink. Let me wipe that, just in case. I don't think I got it close enough where it's going to burn or anything, but... Better be safe than sorry, I guess. So one cup of the boiling hot water. And then if you've watched my videos at all, you know I make my own brown gravy mix. And there's also a video for that. And what you need is, shake that up a little bit. You need um, two tablespoons for, per one cup of water. And because I'm going to not do the two cups that I usually do, because I like to put some on the inside and the out of the gravy, I'm going to use my little whirly gig to get this all mixed up. I love how quickly that mixes. I just, this is probably one of the best, like, $6 tools I think I've ever bought in my life. So... We're going to go ahead and we'll get this stirred up. And once it gets a little bit more thick, I'm going to go ahead and add the enchilada sauce. Break down the hamburger just a little bit more. And then there's going to actually be enough hamburger left um, that I can make it into nachos or we can put it in the freezer for, a, you know, like a, you know, Mexican pizza or, you know, anything to do with any meals with any Mexican flavoring. So that makes it nice. And as you guys seen from my videos last week, if there's a way you can spread that along and actually um, spread out your meal, that's actually, to me, I think that's best. So because I use the instant hot milk or hot water, this is already going to be starting to thicken here. Now, usually if I'm just doing the brown gravy, 
I will add a little bit of the browning that my mom always did. Um, however, because it's got the enchilada sauce, I don't need to do that this time. But this pulls together very, very, very fast. Now, the only thing I gotta do is I gotta cut up some tomatoes, some onions, get out the lettuce and cheese, warm up the shells, and we can, we can, you know, put the, uh, the burritos together. Now, my mom and dad, years ago, back in the 80s, um, they actually, we had a cabin up in Nuevo, if anybody's not heard the story before, and they would go up there, and there was a bar, and I guess they had some of the best wet burritos, and that's where my mom started making them from, is from the burrito, or from the bar there. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in about half of the can. I don't wanna make it too liquidy, but I, I think it should be fine. I could probably put in the whole can, honestly. Yeah, I think I will. And of course, I'm gonna have leftover of this too. So that's something that, if I do like the taste of this, it's something I can keep along with this other mixture. Now that just looks like enchilada sauce, doesn't it? But it's got the brown gravy in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and I turn that down. And I'll bring you over to the island real quick and we'll get these uh, vegetables cut up. And also anybody that's been watching me knows I like to cut my vegetables small with that Vidalia chopper. And I do put the onions and the um, tomatoes in there together. I just push one back and then the other one just stays up front. I mean, yes, I have a lot of these choppers, but why get them all dirty, <laughs> you know? And it's just the two of us, and even when my brother-in-law comes over and my daughter comes over, they don't seem to mind either, so. All right, and as you can see, that was one whole tomato and one onion, and how quickly can that be, right? Now I do have my lettuce actually bought pre-shredded. I mean, right now it doesn't seem to matter if you buy the lettuce pre-cut or not. Both of it's expensive. And then when we get done with this tonight, I'll be putting the rest of this actually in um, a quart jar and vacuum sealing these. Meanwhile, I keep stirring this stuff over here and we'll get this burritos together. Okay, so Mark's on his way home. The meat and the gravy is done. I'm just going to show you on one of them. I'll show you. Hopefully, I can wrap it right. But you'll be able to see me kind of like over there putting the meat and stuff on here. I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple little scoops here of, of meat. And then I do a little bit of gravy on the inside. I don't know why. I just I like the flavor of the gravy on the inside too. Probably because I don't like dry food. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down here. Now, the other day, um, I had an order from um, Warren Food Services, but I haven't, I just opened this up for lunch, so I haven't had a chance to put it in the containers and vacuum seal it. There's videos on that too. All right. I'm going to go ahead and Put a little onion because this one's mine. I love onions on my burritos. My husband's, he's not quite the fan of um, the tomatoes and stuff on his, but he'll eat it. But I like more tomatoes and stuff than he does. Throw a little bit of lettuce on here. Hopefully with any luck, I can actually fold this properly so it actually looks halfway decent. Oh, look at me. Maybe I should get a job at Taco Bell. So let me go ahead and put a little bit of cheese again on the top. My husband, he doesn't like as much cheese on this as I do. However, you know, but this is for me. All right. 
So this is the burrito, and we'll give a taste to the gravy stuff here with the enchilada sauce. That, again, my husband thinks it's okay too. I think I'll probably do that going forth. I mean, that's kind of gives it a different taste that it doesn't normally have. Um, definitely, I would I would do that again. So I'm going to go ahead and make up my husband's burrito. And um, let me know what changes that you would make if you've made yours, if you've done yours any differently. Let me know in the comments down below. And um, someone had said something. They didn't know that I actually have one of those um, buy me a coffee things and that I do have a wish list and my PayPal thing is down there, down below. It's not that I expect you guys to send me things or give me things, but some people say, oh, I didn't know you had that. I've had that for months down there. <laughs> people just didn't know it. But I don't like to just like, oh, you know, you know like, share, subscribe and all that stuff. You know, if you wanna be here, you wanna be here. If you want to do stuff, you wanna do stuff. I don't wanna feel like you're forced. But some people don't know, but it's been down there for quite a while. Um, always look down in the comments down below because um, if there's like a discount on something on some video that I'm I'm doing, the discount will also be down there. Um, you know, like on my kitchen jar lids and uh, the freeze dryers and, and that sort of thing. So thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you have a very blessed and wonderful day.